This is the Realme Buds Q, a pair of in-ear truly wireless earphones is looking to take the Redmi earbuds S head on. So which one of them is the better buy? Let's unbox them and find out. Hey guys, Omarto here from c 4 e Tech and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Realme Buds Q. If you do end up enjoying this video then please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. The Realme Buds Q come in this yellow box. Inside we have the buds themselves in their carrying case, two pairs of replacement ear tips, a micro USB cable and some documentation. Looks wise they are quite similar to the Redmi Earbuds S, especially in the quite black color that we have here. Realme says that they would be available in two more color options, quite white and quite yellow. Pick them up though and the rounded corners of the Realme Buds Q make for a much easier grip than the sharp angles of the Redmi. Like the Master Edition phones created by the Japanese designer Naoto Fukasawa, the cobble-like shape of the Buds Q have been designed by renowned French artist and cooperative designer of Hermes, Jose Levy. At around 35 grams, the cobble-shaped case is lightweight and easily pocketable, opens up quite easily even with one hand and the magnet on the lid gives that satisfying snap. Inside we find the Buds Q snugly nestled in. They are held into their spot by magnets so even if we do this, the buds won't fall out. Coming to the buds themselves, they are quite small and lightweight. In fact, they weigh about half a gram lesser than the Redmi Buds. But honestly, for some reason, the fit here wasn't that great for me. I changed ear tips, twisted it around in my ear, but it always kind of felt off, like I was afraid of them falling off if I shook my head too much. So in terms of fit, I prefer the Redmi Earbuds S. When it comes to comfort though, I wore them for a couple of hours at a stretch and it didn't hurt my ears at all. They also come with an IPX4 rating, which means occasional splashes of rain or sweat at the gym isn't gonna damage them. Now fit is something that varies widely by ear shape. But one thing that the Realme Buds Q does really well is that they go nice and deep inside the ear canal, making a good seal. That means when it comes to bass heavy tracks, I could really feel the thump. And bass is something that the Realme Buds Q are really good at. The 10mm dynamic bass bose drivers are among the biggest that we have seen in this segment. And compared to the 7.2mm drivers in the Redmi Earbuds S, it delivers a more punchier lower end. One interesting thing here though is that both Realme as well as Redmi have tuned these buds to have an emphasis on the mids and lows, which means listening to something like instrumental music on these is kind of fatiguing after a while. As far as dialogues in movies go, well, I watched Netflix with the Realme Buds Q and was able to make out everything quite clearly. There wasn't any latency issues either. Speaking of latency, we have the R1Q chip on board the Realme Buds Q and there's support for AAC audio codec. Oh, and there's one more thing. The sound signature on the Realme Buds Q is surprisingly customizable. Using an equalizer, I was able to get a more balanced output from them. Not as good as say the Enco W31 or even Realme's own Buds Air, but a more balanced sound profile compared to the one it ships with. So in terms of sound quality, I'd prefer the Realme Buds Q over the Redmi Earbuds S. In such a tiny product, space is at a premium, so the bigger drivers comes at the cost of reduced battery capacity. The Realme Buds Q have a 7% smaller 40mAh battery compared to 43mAh on the Redmi Earbuds S. Despite that, Realme claims that the Buds Q can last 4.5 hours on a single charge and 20 hours with the case included. That's half an hour more than what Redmi claims for their Buds on a single charge and a whopping 5 more hours of combined playtime. As far as charge timings go, it takes 2 hours to fully charge the drained earbuds and the case itself can also be topped up in a couple of hours. Unfortunately, like the Redmi Earbuds S, these two come with a micro USB charger, so no Type-C here and no wireless charging either. Not that we'd expect that in this price range. Of course, like all truly wireless solutions, the coded times are only for music playback. Realme sees that the Buds Q can last up to 3.5 hours on a phone call. And yes, we did try that out here. The call quality was okay, the mic is too far away from the mouth, so sometimes people had difficulty hearing what I was saying. There's a single mic on here, and like Redmi, Realme is also providing on-call noise dampening thanks to their R1Q chip on board. We also have Bluetooth 5.0, which means the range here was pretty good. The pairing process too is really fast. There's no Google Fastware support, but once we open up the case, touch the two earbuds at the same time, that sends the buds into pairing mode. And from there, it pops up as a Bluetooth device on the phone. 
and then it's business as usual. There's no wear sensor on the Buds Q, so no autoplay or pause if we take them out of our ears. But the double tap to pause and play music works really well. Yes, we do have touch controls here just like with the Realme Buds Air. I did feel like the touch controls were a bit slow to react though. But one helpful feature is that the entire shiny area on the Buds Q are touch sensitive. And we can even customize the touch controls using the Realme Link app. By default, we can double tap to play pause music or answer calls and triple tap to skip tracks. Pressing and holding on either side for 2 seconds summons the assistant and pressing and holding for 2 seconds on both earphones activates gaming mode. Ah yes, we do have a dedicated gaming mode in here which reduces the latency to 119 milliseconds. That's slightly better than the 122 milliseconds offered by the Redmi Earbuds S. Once more, we tested the mode out using PUBG and the latency was low enough for an enjoyable experience. One nice touch here is that Realme now lets us switch on game mode through a quick toggle on the Realme Link app. So overall, I prefer the touch controls here over the button based control on the Redmi Earbuds S. They are much more customizable, we can skip tracks and every time I press the buttons on the Redmi's, I felt like I was pushing the earbuds in. So now that we have covered all other aspects of the Realme Buds Q, let's talk price. As of filming this video, we have no official confirmation, but going by the Malaysian price of 129 Malaysian Ringgit, I'd expect Realme to price them around the 2000 rupee mark. Makes sense since their primary competition, the Redmi Earbuds S, are priced at 1799 rupees. Now by the time this video goes live, you guys would already know the price. We had updated too via a pinned comment. Now do let us know down there which one of these two do you prefer, the Realme Buds Q or the Redmi Earbuds S. And that's about it for this video, like, share, subscribe and oh, turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching till the end guys, have a good one, cheers!